We haven't done a triple tail show probably in five or six years. And if you want to point a finger at why we now have so many regulations on triple tail, it's probably because of the show that we did do about five or six years ago. The, the triple tail is kind of one of those great species of fish. Um, I like to call them the ugliest, best tasting fish. They're not real smart either. So man, it, it's a great uh, South Louisiana delicacy when you can find such a fish that is easy to catch, easy to creep up on, and taste as good as triple tail tastes. They're looking for an easy meal, as you see, when you throw that shrimp in there, he's coming out. But we got two on this little buoy right there. Looks like he he spooked the, uh, the bigger one off. Oop, there you hit it, I saw him. <laughs> well, there's the bigger one. <laughs> Did he come out of there or what? He came out there. He was coming up for it. I don't like know if he's that. a keeper, but... Uh, uh, what do they have to be? Now, no, I I got a, we actually got a size limit on them. It's 18 five, inches. Five, six pounds right there, got, I would imagine. And they got to be 18 inches long. And they fight, man. Yeah, People they, don't realize they get flat just like a flounder, except they got a lot more muscle. Big old bluegill. Big old bluegill. I think it looks like a sack of dude. I'm going to call it a, a saltwater sack of yeah. But he's pretty, man. And boy, you talk about some good eating. It looks like he's uh, not hooked very well. Ready. You, wanna, you want me to get this net no, out for you? Get him i tell you what. We got that fancy net, huh? You know, if we had one more person instead of shooting pictures, and he was actually, <laughs> you know, getting in there like that. See, it's a no-tangle net except if you got a GoPro pole. That right there is a prized possession in the fisherman's world. Two reasons, because they just come around, you know, once a year around here. Your crab trap ropes, uh, your, your floats, they all generate small crabs. Uh, they provide structure for your smaller fish that like to get around them, and they're little ambush uh, fish. They get up in there and they float real tight to the surface. Stop it, he's gonna, he's gonna get under the boat. Boop. There he is. <laughs> I think. He, try to get him out of this. Is he gonna sun. make the team? I don't know if he's gonna make it or not, man. I, I think he's right on the 16, 17 mark. He might, I don't know. We need 18. Team is 18. I don't know, but I tell you what, that is so much fun, I can tell you. <laughs> it is fun. It's always fun when you're sight fishing. How about that? He's got pretty he is. Black, black, black. Run to it, man. Yeah, to I don't it. know if he's gonna make it. But I think he's a little small. He's cute. I'm saying 16. I hate that they put a dead gum size on. Ooh, look at that. You almost made it. 17 and 17 a half. 17 and a half. And the reason being that they they went in and did this is because they started getting fish pretty good, especially in here. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Tell me why they did it, Eric. Well, for some guy named John Jackson. Yeah, I know. He did a TV show. And, uh, yeah, that's what happens when you do TV. Sometimes you spill the beans. Okay. Kind of refer people when they're trip, uh, triple tail fishing to something Eric Dumas told me a long time ago. Those clean crab corks, those new ones, don't hold as much fish as those dirty, slimy, black, look like they've been out there for 20 year crab uh, corks because of the algae that holds all the little things that they're nipping at all day long. The migration has just begun, so there are a lot of small fish out there. Be mindful that there is now an 18-inch rule in place and a limit of three per person. Also, don't rule out old pipes or anything floating. If the fish are not at the surface, try a slip cork to put your bait about seven to ten feet down. Worked a couple of times for us. When we come back,